Located in Bushwick, one of Brooklyn's coolest neighborhoods, Fine and Raw is not only a chocolate factory. We came behind the scenes to explore a little bit of what this place is about. So we're here with Daniel, the founder of Fine and Raw Chocolate. So how did that actually happen from starting from your house to opening this great factory? So I came to New York early 2000s okay. and uh, I came here to be a financial analyst. <laughs> So, yes, I know, big joke, yeah. uh, considering what I am now. I was living in Williamsburg. Um, I, I left the whole finance world. Uh, I was living in Williamsburg. I have an amazing artist loft. It was uh, off, uh, a loft slash uh, commune. Uh, nice. A lot of us living there. And um, uh, I became a chef. And as soon as I was a chef, I, I just fell in love with chocolate. So um, at some point, I decided, all right, let me... Let me let me take this a little bit deeper and let me see what this is really about. My, my complete obsession with chocolate and I started making uh, chocolate in my loft and, um, and sharing it with my friends um, and people loved it. If you guys could smell on camera, this is so good. We walk in and the smell just makes us go crazy. You want to eat everything. It's like walking into a giant brownie. Yeah. So your chocolate is actually very good. I am actually a big fan and I see them all over Brooklyn and I'm always shopping them. Um, but what is actually a secret behind what you do? Because chocolate is chocolate, but there's something in your chocolate that it is different. Yes. Yes. Yes, good. <laughs> what, it's what? the crack. It's no, the crack. No, no. <laughs> so um, uh, there, there are a few things. Um, uh, Firstly, the, the quality of our ingredients. We, we search all over the world to find the best ingredients. Um, so we work directly with uh, farmers all over and we bring in uh, only the highest, most exceptional quality that, that you can find. Um, uh, after that, the way that we process things, um, uh, lots of different techniques that make our chocolate exceptional. Um, we start from scratch, so we get the best, the best quality ingredients you can possibly find, then we start from scratch. And in the chocolate itself, the techniques that we use for doing that, um, very interesting. Um, and so instead of doing a, a regular roast, what we do is low temperature for a very long time. So it's like this idea of slow food or slow cooking. You know, and then like that really like draws out these amazing flavors. It always um, tastes better. Okay, so the way to taste chocolate is, what you'd want to do is start with the darkest okay. and then work your way down to the sweetest. Okay. Um, so in this case, actually, it is. It's going to be the sea salt, then the raspberry, then the hazelnut butter, and then the coconut and cacao. Okay. Um, so the sea salt, that's, that's just a classic chocolate flavor at this point in time. When we started 10 years ago, chocolate and sea salt was unheard of. People were like, what, you're putting sea salt, salt in chocolate? chocolate? That's crazy. But now it, it makes total sense. So the salt opens up your palate, okay. and then the, and all those dark flavors of the chocolate can come through and just flush you out. The raspberry, we use a organic um, dried raspberry, and it just brings out all these like fruity tannin flavors in the dark chocolate. Amazing. Um, Sounds good. Then the hazelnut butter, um, that's one, I mean, it's hard to choose between all the flavors, <laughs> but I eat a lot of this one. Um, we get hazelnuts from Portland, Oregon, and then we grind the hazelnuts into the hazelnut butter. So it kind of becomes like milk chocolate, but it's not milk, it's hazelnuts. Okay. Um, and then uh, cacao and coconut chunky. This is one of our most popular bars. Um, and you'll see why. When, when you bite it, the texture is insane. It just melts and like explodes in your mouth.